Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. This is Lubna. So today we are going to speak about anger. What is anger? Anger is an emotion. It is not the root cause. It stems from something else. So if I am feeling angry about something, then I will have to ask myself, why am I angry? What is the reason that this thing triggers me? Am I angry because somebody's hurt me? Or if somebody said some bad things to me? Or am I angry because my rights are being violated? Or somebody else's rights are being violated? There are many causes that lead to anger as a result. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised us not to ever get angry. So if anger is something that comes to us naturally, then why is he saying that we should not get angry? As people say that we should not keep our anger inside of us. Like most of them say, if we suppress our anger or frustration, then it affects our mental health. So I'm going to break it down for you. Anger is a state of mind that we choose to be in consciously or subconsciously. So we are going to go into the mode of anger when we tend not to like something, when it exceeds to the point that we cannot do anything about it. A point of helplessness. So I'm going to give you an example here. Say for example, I want my children to sit and finish their studies and they've pushed me to the point that I'm feeling helpless and I'm on the verge of getting angry and they still don't listen to me. I keep telling them, study, 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 stop watching those cartoons or stop playing those games or whatever and when a certain level is crossed and my helplessness overcomes my purpose, what was my purpose? that my children should finish their studies on time and the fact that I'm not able to make my kids study or finish their projects on time is making me get angry. I'm angry at myself because of my own incompetence of not being able to achieve the ideal situation. So basically I'm angry at myself and not at my children and the root cause is my inefficiency because in my head, I've always thought of being in control of all situations, especially the ones with my children. Because parents get into this zone where they have this thing in their heads that my children are supposed to listen to me, listen, obey, and to everything that I say. They have to listen to me. If I ask them to keep the house clean, they have to keep the house clean. If I ask them to study, they have to study. But in real world, Things don't work like that. So when I'm only focusing on the things that they're not doing, I develop this thought that my children don't listen to me at all. So now my ego comes into the picture and this is what makes me angry. This is just an example of how anger is taking over our lives in a sense that we ourselves choose to become angry. It's my own choice in that situation that I chose to become, become angry because I was feeling helpless. If I'm able to recognize that it's helplessness that's causing the anger and then there are other ways to deal with the situation, then I can avoid getting angry altogether. Maybe I can negotiate with my children or if that doesn't work, I can maybe just simply sit down and pray to my Lord to help me out of this situation that, and then accept, accept the fact that the situation is totally out of my control. Or there can be a hundred different ways to come out of these situations, to handle these situations. Whenever such a situation arises, we can choose not to become angry and we can choose more effective ways to deal with such issues. Most of the time, anger stems from the emotion of helplessness that I am not able to do something or take control of a certain situation. We can take the example of revenge and analyze when somebody says something to us that is displeasing to us and 
ये नॉट इन अ पोजिशन टू से समथिंग बैक और सेंग समथिंग बैक माइट लीड टू सम अनप्लेजेंट कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज सो वी चूज टू कीप क्वाइट इन दिस सिचुएशन द फैक्ट दैट वी कंट्रोल्ड आर इमोशंस एंड डेन बैक आंसर कैन हैव टू आउटकम्स फॉर अ पर्सन विद द राइट माइंड सेट दिस इज एम्पावरिंग बिकॉज ही और शी नोज दैट इट इज इट वॉज देयर ओन विल पावर एंड देयर पावर ऑफ देयर माइंड that has enabled them to con- take control of the situation and they have stopped the situation from escalating and they can respond to the person instead of reacting but for most people this can be really frustrating the fact that they didn't abuse the other person back or didn't shout or scream at them makes them feel helpless they keep imagining that they could have said this or they could have said that they blame themselves for not being able to say something they start hating themselves for it and there comes a point where all of these thoughts translate into frustration and eventually extreme anger again here we get to see how this person has pushed themselves into the zone where they have victimized themselves and have started to identify themselves as being helpless So the first step in the journey towards anger management is to identify the root cause of your anger and then to stop victimizing yourself and taking responsibility for your own actions. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel to get more helpful tips and to reinvent yourself.